Hi, I'm Christy from Benson Dwelling. Today, we are giving you a tutorial on how to build a desk lamp. So we're creating a base and the lampshade. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and make sure you leave us a comment to let us know if you liked what you saw. Okay, so what we're doing is we are creating a lamp globe using a plaster of Paris and we are using a balloon and it's called balloon casting. There isn't a lot of information about it, uh, and so we did a lot of experimentation. So here's what we got for you. And in order to make it a little bit more stable, we are using Elmer's glue, just white glue. Um, we're using that because the last couple that we tried did not work out. They were too breakable. They just broke into pieces. <sighs> Step number one is you're gonna blow up your balloon. You're gonna blow it up um, so that it stretches out. Once you get your balloon to a point where it's blown up, um, you I put a little clip on the end just to kind of hold it for me because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my funnel and I'm gonna pour it into this. But first, I need to mix my ratios. So for this size balloon, which is an 18 inch balloon, um, we are going to be using six and a half cups of plaster of Paris. We are gonna be using um, three quarters a cup of Elmer's white glue, and we're gonna be using three cups of water. So, so you're gonna do a plaster of Paris by itself, and you're gonna mix the water with the Elmer's glue. Then you're gonna take the two, mix them together, and you're gonna to wanna to do this pretty quickly because um, it's gonna start setting up on you and you don't want that. Uh, and next step is gonna to be to mix up all of our ingredients. Many hours later. Hey, you guys, it's the moment of truth. I'm kind of freaking out, but it's dried in here. I think I'm gonna blow air into it and hope that it releases around the edges. To be honest, I pee a little bit every time I do that. <laughs> okay, anyways, TMI. I'm just gonna pop it. We're going, we're going places. Here we go. Ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I think, I think I might cry. Okay, so use the Dremel tool. I was hoping not to use any tools in this DIY, um, but I had to, because otherwise it was just getting too um, jagged and um, it wasn't, there, there's really no way to get it straight without cutting into it. Thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time here, go ahead and give us a subscribe, a like, and a comment on our recent photos, uh, our recent videos. That's so helpful for us. Uh, and thank you for being here. Let us know if you like what our content is.